Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I am in desperate need of a declutter. Today I really want to declutter my foundations, my concealers, and maybe my face powders, if we can get that far, because I have way too many concealers, they no longer fit in my one drawer anymore, and I need to go through these foundations. So, as you can see, the drawer is uh, it's a hot mess. Uh, yeah, it's a hot mess. So let's just jump in. First, I want to pull out the things I know I'm not going to declutter just to get some room in here to work. I'll be keeping my LA Girl Pro Coverage White Mixer. This is my backup. I currently have like two or three of these. Uh, it's the best. And it's in the foundation drawer because it's a foundation mixer. And that one, it's technically just a white shade of their foundation. I'll also be keeping my last backup of my Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. This is in the shade 030 Sand Beige. I love this foundation. I think it works best for me like in the fall and winter because now that it's summer, I'm seeing that it doesn't hold up to as much sweat as I would like it to, but I, I need to like do a nice full retesting of it. And even, even if it doesn't work great on its own, this is one of my favorite mixing foundations ever. I love the dropper. I love the foundation. I love the formula. So I'm going to hold on to this. This is my... Last backup, I currently have one in my like everyday makeup basket that's currently open. I have two unopened backups right here. I have one from Estee Lauder. This is the Double Wear Foundation in the shade 1N2. And I have my Dermacol Makeup Cover, and this is in the shade 210, I believe. Yes, 210. I used to love the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I used to mix it with the Fenty foundation. I really like using this because it was full coverage and it's really really good with sweat so great for the summer. I just needed to find a good foundation to mix it with which might be that Catrice one. And then I keep a backup of the Dermacol because I absolutely love Dermacol and this was so affordable. I actually found this for sale half off at a local Riley Rose because that Riley Rose store was closing so I got this for like five bucks. <laughs> So I have this still in the box. This is the Ordinary Color Serum Foundation, and I think I purchased this back when I purchased all the other shades for the first time. I think this might have been too dark on me, but honestly, I can't remember. It's been sitting in the box in my drawer ever since, so I'm actually going to pull this one out and see what the shade looks like. Because I remember this is the serum foundation. I liked the serum foundation better than I liked the uh, the coverage foundation. So I think I'm going to hold on to this and actually bring it out and see what shade it is. I have two of the Misha Perfect Cover BB Creams in shades 21 and 27. 21 is just way too cool of an undertone for me and I really can't get it to work. 27 is dark for me, but it's got my undertone so I can just lighten it up. So I'm going to declutter shade 21 and keep shade 27. I have two of the Acne Fighting Foundations from e.l.f. and this is the only like e.l.f. foundation I really like. I actually really like this foundation. So I'm going to hold on to these. I don't remember like what the difference in the shades were. So I need to figure out which one is closer to me because odds are I'll keep the closest shade match and I'll declutter the other one. Okay, so I just swatched both of the Acne Fighting Foundations and it looks like Buff has a warm undertone whereas Porcelain has like a cooler kind of pale undertone. So I'm going to keep Buff and declutter Porcelain because I can just lighten Buff and it has my undertone already. So this is the ColourPop No Filter Stick Foundation, still in the box. This one, I just, I think I just swatched once for that ColourPop video, yeah. And then I put it right back in because it was way too dark for me. I ended up decluttering the rest of those ColourPop products because they did not work for me at all. I just, oh, that video was kind of a huge fail. So I'm going to declutter this one and hopefully someone can get use out of it. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I did not know I had this many of these. <laughs> These are all, um, I think they're all different shades. I gotta check the shades. These are all the Wet n Wild Pump Makeup Locker 3-in-1 BB Creams. Um, I did a video where I used this to um, dupe my favorite like $80 luxury foundation. So I kind of went a little ham. Let me see. So we've got light medium. Oh, let's not put that in front of the camera, Monica. Light medium, light medium, light and fair light. Okay, so... I think I bought all the shades just to see which ones would be closest to me because I have to lighten up the ones that are fair medium. I think these ones are brand new. Yeah, okay, so these two fair mediums are brand new. Um, I'll just keep them as backups uh, in case I do tan and I can wear those without mixing. And these two, I've used the fair shade. Uh, I think fair light is actually too light for me. So I'm going to double check that and see if it is too light. If it is, I'll declutter the too light one and stick with 
light. <laughs> the downside to this is that even though it's really affordable, you can't shade swatch anything in store. You actually have to pick it up to see if it works. So I bought these on, on the website, so I just kind of picked on a couple of the lighter shades to see which one would be closest to me. I actually have two concealers in here and they should not be in here. They need to be in the foundation section or the concealer section. Jesus. So I pick up the LA Girl Pro Matte Foundation. I don't think I've actually tried this more than once yet. Um, I think it was just a little too matte for me, but now that it's getting hot, I really want to retry this one. So I'm going to hold on to this one. So this foundation from Milani isn't like the best. Like it's an okay foundation. I struggle with the shades. I struggle kind of with um, how this sits in like my fine lines um so it's, it's never quite like perfect and with the amount of foundations i have i don't need to hold on to this so i'm going to declutter this one so i am going to declutter this one this is the physician's formula healthy foundation i used to really like this and i got a lot of use out of it um i think this is a little light for me or dark i honestly can't remember i remember the shade just being slightly off but why i'm decluttering this is because i've had it for a bit and it is starting to smell off yeah it does not smell good um like it, the smell worries me and i think that means it's no longer good so i'm gonna just actually throw this one out i don't want to give this to anyone because i think it might have actually gone bad it already had kind of a strong scent to it but now it it actually like it smells revolting so i need to just get throw this one out so while this one's gonna be a bit tough i think i needed to declutter this one too so this is from cyo this is the long lasting life proof foundation and i picked up the shade 104 um i love the formula of this but the undertone just does not work for me like i can look fine at my vanity and inside but the minute i step out into natural light it looks terrible like you can tell the di the shade difference and there's nothing I can mix into this to really fix that I've tried using golden drops I've tried lightening it and while it looks great it holds up well with sweat and everything I just kind of look nuts <laughs> when I'm wearing this so I need to declutter it I'll be holding on to this this is from MAC this is the pro Longwear moisturizing waterproof foundation I like to go to MAC every few months or so to get shade match too because I do keep my shade in my description box I try to keep that updated so this is the last time I got shade matched I picked up this foundation this is an NC 25 I feel like I should probably go back and get shade matched I do have enough products to back to MAC for the first time in a while so i'm gonna go back to mac at some point and get reshade matched um if it's the same nc25 i won't buy anything but if i get a closer shade match i'll probably pick something up just to have like a reference too because i do want to start in like foundation reviews swatching and even for my own personal benefit i want to start swatching things side by side with like a closer shade match for me to get a better idea of what foundations look like and hopefully that'll help me start picking better foundation shades out either online or in store but i think it's a good thing to have kind of like a baseline this one just needs to go unfortunately this is the flower beauty light illusion foundation this in i included this in my least favorite foundations but i said i would test it out more and i did and i don't like it it doesn't really mix well it, I, I love the like the packaging and everything i like the idea of it but it just did not work for me so I, this needs to go <sighs> We're almost there, guys. I have this Too Faced Do You foundation. I actually really like this, despite the fact that it oxidizes like crazy. I really liked this for the drier months because it did give a nice glow. It kept me very moisturized. So I'm going to keep this kind of towards the back of my drawer and use this again once we get closer to like the fall. This stick foundation has become one of my favorites, or actually the only one that I found that actually works for me. And this is the Makeup Revolution stick foundation in the shade F6. I've used up more than half of this. Yeah, this is almost gone. <laughs> you can see right there. I'll probably finish this up and rebuy it at some point because I was looking forever for a good stick foundation that would work with my skin. This is the only one that I found, and I really like this, especially for traveling. It's so convenient. Next, I have this Shop Miss A AOA Studio Perfect BB Cream. I tried this out a few times. I got this because a friend of mine, like, lived, breathed, and died for this BB Cream, but it, it never really wowed me, and I kept just, like, feeling meh about it and putting it back in my drawer. Um, I've got other BB Creams that I like, especially the Misha one, so I don't want to just hold on to this for the sake of having it so i'm going to declutter it if you guys want to try it out this is literally a dollar 
from the Shop Masse website. I would recommend testing it if you like. Um, but while you're there, pick up their black teardrop sponge for a dollar. That is my favorite makeup sponge. I have 10 of them. <laughs> Next, I have some makeup drops from Catrice. These are darkening drops that I really don't use now. <laughs> I kept these just in case during the summer because last summer or the summer before, I got to the point where I did tan and a lot of my foundations were too dark for me. So I just keep this just in case. Next, I have the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. I have not touch this or reached for it and I don't really want to declutter it because it was so expensive but I, I need to pull this back out this is such a full coverage like concentrate that really you could like mix this and use it like dermacol you can mix this in with like a, a moisturizer or something so I'm not going to declutter this until I bring it back out and use it again and see how I feel about it because it was so expensive <laughs> and I did like it I used to love this for spot concealing back when my acne was a lot worse than it is now um, which is why you see I used to have a lot of full coverage products that I reached for a lot more often than I do now because my skin used to be really not great. Back when I first started my channel, I used to have like these deep kind of breakouts that I wanted to cover up. So, But recently I haven't really been reaching for this, so I'm going to pull this out and actually work with it and try it out. Next I have the Wet n Wild foundation. I feel the same way as kind of the Shop Miss A where it never really wowed me. I felt like I felt very meh about this foundation. I don't know if I want to hold on to it. You know what? Um, I have plenty. I'm gonna declutter this because if I can't remember how much I liked it and I don't feel the need to really want to retry it, I don't need it. This foundation has not been working for me at all all. Uh, I really picked this up because the Tayla did a video on it and it became one of her new favorite foundations and I was like oh I gotta try it out. It has not been working for me um, and I'm only keeping it to do the video on this because <laughs> I want to show you guys what this looks like after a full day of wear. So yeah I'm gonna do keep this do that video and then this is also gonna be gone. Next I have this foundation from NARS. This is the Radiant Natural Radiant Long Wear Foundation and I have the shade Punjab. Back when I first got this, this was a video I think a year ago, this was a perfect shade match for me, which just shows how pale that I've gotten. <laughs> this is now incredibly dark, but I still liked the formula. I've actually, if you, if I pull this out of the drawer and hold it up right here, it comes down to here. So I'm almost done with this foundation. I feel like I'll put this into an upcoming project pan just to finish it up because I don't want to get rid of it. There's literally only like this much left. But it was a really good foundation. I got my money's worth out of it and I still am getting my money's worth out of it. And I do like the packaging. It's, other than the fact that it's like almost empty. It looks very nice and sleek. All right, and our last foundation is one of the newest ones I picked up. This is from Juvia's Place. This is the I Am Magic foundation. I did a review of this and I did not like it on its own, but I said that I would test out mixing it with some other foundations. I haven't gotten to doing that yet. So I'm gonna hold on to this and try mixing it with some other foundations. All right, let me go back in and reorganize all of these. What was that? All of these. It looks so much better. It's a lot more organized and I really like it. And now I actually have room to also fit in the foundations I have in my everyday makeup basket. Uh, which I'm definitely keeping because I love them. I have the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir, so probably right there. I have the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation, which is one of my favorite matte foundations ever. And then I have my Open Dermacol, so it would fit right there. Oh, so organized, so pretty. And I counted and we decluttered one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine nine foundations and we kept 22 foundations so i decluttered nine kept 22 and that counts every single shade of a foundation because i have multiple shades of a couple of these still okay so moving on to my concealers as you can see i have two basically full drawers here which is nuts i i want to get this down to one drawer so i'm trying to get rid of half of my concealers here First things first, these Milani concealers did not work for me. I did not like them. They did not work. They, they're gone. I'm going to keep these three LA Girl Pro concealers because I actually really like the found or the formula of the actual concealer, which is the middle shade right here. I also picked up a lightening shade up here because I did have some concealers that were still 
now a bit dark for me so I needed that and then down here I have the um, salmon color so this is supposed to be kind of a dupe for another product that I have coming up soon that's going to be discontinued actually so I'm gonna hold on to these three this wet and wild illuminati highlighter uh it's, it's basically a highlighting pen it doesn't really work that well as a concealer but it is a nice like glowy highlight so like if i want to highlight like the middle of my forehead or my nose or my chin i would go for this because it's actually like a decent product it's almost gone there's only like this much left so i'm gonna just finish this one up and then it'll be out I'm currently panning this. It's not in any of my projects, but I'm almost there. It's, uh, it's, this is like the never-ending concealer. This is the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Medium Honey, and I've been using this as an eye primer every single day. Next, I have a mini of the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. I definitely got a shade that was way too light for me. This is the shade Snow, so I can't use this on its own. I have tried it on its own, though, to see how I like the formula, and it was decent, um, but really, I've been using this to lighten up other concealers because <laughs> it's just too light to use on its own unless I look ghostly. So I have both of these with my concealers, even though technically they're like eyeshadow primers. These are the Makeup Revolution Cut Crease Canvases. I have the shade White, and then I have the shade Illustrate, which is kind of like a close to my skin tone shade. I haven't tried this as a concealer. I don't think it would do well as a concealer like an under eye concealer but I could try it you never know I've really just been using these to do cut creases like the the title would say I actually just recently repurchased these because I forgot how much I loved this concealer this has kind of been my go-to for the past couple of days now this is the Maybelline instant age rewind concealer and I didn't realize until recently that you could take off the sponge thank you beauty news family for showing me that video because this is so much easier and better to use without the sponge. I have two shades here and I think the one that I'm using right now is a bit light. Uh, what shades? I have light pale and I have ivory. I think ivory is probably closer to me but I love this concealer. This is such a great concealer and it's really affordable so I'm definitely holding on to these. So this is the salmon colored corrector that I mentioned before. This is from Benefit. This is the Boing Airbrush Concealer in the shade number two. And this is actually just a sample size. It looks like a full size concealer and it takes a while to go through. I still have all that product in there. Um, but this was a sample I got for free, like one of those Sephora codes, like spend $25 and get one of these. And I did that twice. So I had two of these, I completely panned one this is the second one. I've been bringing it back out and actually really liking it, um, but then I realized that this is actually being discontinued. I saw it like on clearance at my local Ulta and I heard rumors, so it is being discontinued, um, but I'm not going to rebuy it. Like I said, I've got some other dupes I can work with, but hearing that and using this again just reminded me how much I like this, so I've been using it again, so once it's gone, it's gone. Okay, let's move into the concealers that I really don't like because I got to get rid of most of these. <laughs> This is the e.l.f. Lightweight Concealer Stick. It worked okay for my full face of e.l.f., but I've never reached for this outside of that, so this is going to be decluttered. I picked up these two concealers from Catrice. These are the Liquid Camouflage High Coverage found Concealer, not foundation, and it just really didn't work well for me. I did not like this under my eyes. I did not like this for spot concealing, uh, but I wanted to try it out because I really did want to try out more products from Catrice, so I'm going to declutter these. This Wet n Wild Concealer... Ugh. It's too dark for me. I don't like the shade range on this, and I didn't like the concealer, so this is gonna go. This Milani concealer, I think this is supposed to be a salmon color corrector. Yeah, it doesn't look very salmon-y. I think it's just a regular concealer. And this was their lightest shade. So it's too dark for me to really use for anything, if I'm being honest. So I'm gonna I'm gonna declutter this. So when I first tried this L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer out, I actually really liked it. But I realized that this comes apart and just looks horrible the minute any sweat or water touches it. And I can't. Like, it's summer, um, I tried this out and it looks great when I'm sitting in my house doing nothing, but uh, I can't. I don't like the fact that it, it when it falls apart it breaks down that badly, so I need to declutter this. This is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer, and I only like this when mixing it with other concealers, and I've got plenty of other concealers I can mix and use on their own, so I'm also going to declutter this one. Next, I have this kind of big e.l.f. concealer. This is the Maximum Coverage Concealer, and while I actually really like this, I think it's a great full coverage concealer, I just never reach for it. It's kind of huge and bulky, and it's just really full coverage, so that's not really what I'm looking for. 
and I can't really use this under my eyes. This is really just a spot concealer for me, so I need to declutter this because I'm just, it's just sitting here. Last but not least, I have two concealers I'm keeping because I really enjoy both of these formulas. The first one is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define, and then I have the Ulta Beauty Youthful Glow Concealer. I actually want to do a video where I compare and contrast uh, their other concealer because the Ulta brand has another concealer that I love. And I have it in my backup drawer, I think, um, and I want to compare it to this concealer because I also really like this one. And we just about did it. They all fit in one drawer now, and then everything that I'm decluttering, it's over there, except for the Juvia's Place one. That was just too big to fit, and I'm still try testing this out, and I'm mixing it in with other things. So that that's a maybe. That's on the chopping block right now. But these are all the ones that we're decluttering. So we decluttered just about half of my concealers. Yes. All right, guys, so here we are at the last section for today's declutter. We're gonna go through my pressed powders and my loose powders. This is probably gonna be the quickest because I have the least amount of products here and I kind of already have an idea of what hasn't been working for me and what has. So let's go through these pretty quickly. First, I have my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. I have to open it because it is so reflective, but I love, oh, ignore how dirty that mirror is. Oh, Jesus. I really like this and I've been panning it. So it's been sitting in my everyday makeup basket right behind there until I can finish it up because I, I love the Hourglass powders. They're just amazing. Next, a product from Physicians Formula I actually really like. This is the Healthy Powder and I have the shade LN3, which is just a little dark for me, but I like this. It's definitely more of like a powder foundation in that it's a little bit thicker and heavier than your normal face powder, but it does add coverage if you need coverage, and it just, just holds up really well throughout a full day. I love this. This is definitely something you would use when you first put your makeup on. It's not like a touch-up powder. I would use something a little bit lighter for that, but I really like this, so I'm going to hold on to it. This one's got to go. <laughs> I've been trying to make this work for so long, and it's just not working. This is the Flawless Finishing Powder in Translucent from Pixi and uh, I've just tried and it just it does not work well it doesn't I wanted it to work well but it does not it like lifts up foundation from my face when I try to put it on I tried scraping it and lose using it as a loose powder thinking maybe that would help it doesn't really help uh, so I just need to to clutter it and this was really overpriced for what it was I think unfortunately when you're here in the States pixie while it's sold in Target it is expensive for Target and for drugstore in general. So I've been trying to test out more from Pixi, but it's just such an expensive brand that a lot of the times when I'm in the store and looking at the products, I double guess myself and I'm like, I don't need that. It's, I could buy the same thing at Sephora for that price. Like their eyeliners are like Sephora priced, which is kind of bonkers. Next, I have a compact from Clinique and this is actually given to me. This is the Super Powder Double Face Makeup. So it's in the shade Matte Beige, and I'm assuming this is supposed to be a powder foundation, which it definitely feels like. It's really dark for me, really dark. And I keep this around just because I use it when I have a foundation that I know is too light and I wanna darken it. So I used it a lot when I had too, too light things. Can I speak today? When I had products that were too light and I needed to like darken them, which I haven't really been reaching for it too often recently but it's a good powder it's a, again it's like a powder foundation so it's a little bit heavier it adds some coverage but i actually like it so i'm gonna hold on to this and see if i get any more use out of it also the packaging is just really pretty look at that nice this one has got to go i i did not like this powder at all this is from elf and this is the prime and stay finishing powder again i felt like whenever i applied this it would lift up my foundation and would just leave me looking nuts and it did not last well throughout a day it i just can't uh this is like from their dollar or two dollar line i think i use this in my full face of elf uh but decluttering it wow so far i've decluttered wait no i can't count okay next i have this face powder from milani and this is the multitasker face powder in the shade light tan i haven't reached for this one in a bit so i think it's just slightly dark for me but I remember actually really liking this powder. The only thing I don't like is how bulky the packaging is. Do you see how big this is? It's gigantic. And I know if you lift this up, like the actual powder up, you get a mirror and like a little face poof, but eh. So I actually really like the powder. I was thinking about just like ripping out this part and keeping the powder, but we'll see. We'll see. I actually really like the powder, so I'm gonna hold on to this. 
All right, so moving on to loose powders, and I actually pulled out the one I had in my everyday makeup basket, the Cody Airspun. I've been panning this, and it's almost empty, and I've actually really been liking it. So I'm going to hold on to this one, and I'm going to get rid of this. So this is actually just uh, the Beauty Bakery flower powder, but I already used up the whole product, and I loved I had their uh, loose powder in yellow. I loved that for under my eyes. It was beautiful. But this is no longer the... Uh, Beauty Bakery powder. I actually started putting the Cody in here because the Cody was such a big container. Like this thing is huge and I didn't have room for it in my everyday makeup basket but now that I do I've just been using it straight from here and I haven't felt the need to put it into another container if that makes sense. So I'm going to just put what remains of the Cody back into the Cody container and I'll just recycle this because I don't need to have an extra container around when I don't need one. Next, I have this Flower Beauty Powder, which has been really confusing me. I picked this up thinking it would be like a nice under eye setting powder, but that's not the case. This is their Satin Finishing Powder, and this is like a, a glowy powder. Like, let me see if I can show or swatch this. It's almost like a, a loose highlighter. Let me see. I don't think it's coming up on camera, but it is basically a powder that's just full of glitter. There is just nothing but glitter in this, and there, uh, I, I don't think it's showing up on camera well enough, but whenever you put this on, it just, all you see is glitter. And I was really hoping to find a nice, like, under eye powder from Flower Beauty because I've heard so many other people rave about their other shades, but their other shades were just way too dark for me, so I saw this and I thought it would work, but it's just a glitter bomb, so I think I'm gonna declutter this, yeah. Next, I have this powder from Too Faced. This is the Born This Way powder, and I have to say, I don't like the way that they set up this packaging. It's kind of annoying. It would be, like, less messy if they just didn't have the sifter in, because there's... but whatever. But this is actually a pretty decent powder. I personally like it. Uh, I haven't tested it out too much recently, because I've gone back to trying to finish up the Cody, but I'm gonna hold on to this one. Now, one that I think I'm going to have to part ways with is this Peach Perfect one because I've used up a decent amount of this and I am so back and forth on how this performs. Like, some days it oxidizes and it looks too dark under my eyes and it ruins my whole look. Uh, some days it's actually working well and my eyes look nice. I don't like that it's pinky tinged because I think that I run into problems because I have a yellow undertone and not a pinky one. I think this would be better for people of like a fair to light complexion. Um, and another thing that I don't like is, this is gonna sound so weird, the taste. This is so finely milled that whenever you put it on, you're tasting a little bit of it. Even if you're putting it on under your eyes, some of it's getting in your mouth and you're tasting it and it's, uh, it's just kind of disgusting. So I, uh, this is gonna go. I'm gonna declutter this one. Next, I have these two powders from Essence, and these are part of like the Casey Holmes kind of line, and I like that this looks like they literally just printed these out on a regular printer and just stuck them on here, <laughs> right? So these are two shades of peach and banana, and look at how deep these are. <laughs> it's like you took a, a peach crayon and a yellow crayon and just mashed them up. It's... There's no way anyone of a deep or of a, a light complexion could use these. I don't even know if anyone of a deep complexion could use these because they're so pigmented. But you know what? I don't know. I don't have a deep complexion. But for me, I picked these up as part of the other products from her line. You know, the face pal the face palettes of like Peachy Bean and Jelly Keen. And I couldn't get any use out of these whatsoever. So uh, these need to go. Next, I have this under eye setting powder from e.l.f. and I need to get rid of this too because not only is this not a great powder, I hate the packaging. Why couldn't you have given me bigger packaging? Because what am I going to do with this? I can't put a sponge in here. I can't tap it out into the cap and really use it. I wish it was just a little bit bigger, right? Like this, it's so annoying. And the cap leaks. Like I'm getting powder all over my hands because this doesn't actually fully close which is a huge pet peeve of mine. Like, you can have cheap packaging and it still work decently, but when I'm like getting powder everywhere, just handling it, come on. Like, look at that. So I'm gonna declutter this as well. 
Last but not least, I have my absolute favorite drugstore loose powder. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. I actually picked up the shade 05 because I am pale as hell right now. Normally, I pick up the shade 10. Shade 10 works well for me, which I think I also have back here in this little basket because I'm putting together my um, drugstore makeup starter kit. So I do have another one of these and that one... I don't know if that one's open. I think I've been using this one more often. So I'm going to hold on to this one because I love this powder. I love the shade range on this powder and the price point. Wow. So looking back at this, we decluttered half of the products. So I've got literally half of my collection for face powders and loose powders left, which I'm very happy with. Alright guys, so moving over to my bed where I put all of the decluttered products. This is everything we decluttered. We decluttered half of my concealers, half of my powder products, and about a third of my foundations. So I think this is a really good declutter overall. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see other declutters, I have a whole playlist of declutters. I'll throw that up in the cards if you would like to binge watch those. And subscribe if you haven't already because I am also going to be coming out with a huge bronzer, blush, and highlighter declutter soon because I've, I've got so many bronzers and I've got so many highlighters. I need to, <laughs> They need their own video. They really do. So thank you guys again for watching and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye.